Let's talk about flying in Minecraft. Unless you're a bumblebee, it's kind of hard to fly in Minecraft survival mode. You could make a flying machine like this, but that's kind of complicated, so let's start off a little bit easier. By the way, if you want to build this, link down below. Instead, you're going to want some wings, like this. They're called Elytra, and here's the ultimate Elytra guide in Minecraft. Ouch. So first off, you're gonna wanna find a stronghold. Now hopefully you already have one in your world that you found, but if not, there's a helpful command called slash locate, oh, spell it correctly, slash locate, and then you can type in stronghold, hit enter, and there's the coordinates. Now you might know, if you don't wanna do that little cheaty cheat cheat right there, you can take out some eyes of ender, throw them in the sky, and you can follow where they lead you, and eventually it'll take you to where the stronghold is. Now once in the stronghold, you have to go locate your end portal, and as you might expect, you have to go into the end. You can only find Elytra in the end islands, which means you gotta go in here, you gotta kill the dragon, it's a little annoying, but trust me guys, it is worth it. You'll use these wings forever, so hop on in. Now once again, if you're in survival, you can just go and fight the dragon, but if you're like me and you wanna just cheat a little bit, there's a command to kill the dragon, which is slash kill at E, then you do a bracket, then you're gonna do type equal sign, and you're gonna find ender dragon, which is right here. Then I'm gonna have one more bracket at the end. And boom, Mr. Dragon is gone and dead, and now you're going to see a purple beacon somewhere in the sky. Now if you don't already know this, this is how you get to the end islands, like the end number two. So what you gotta do is get up here and throw an ender pearl right into that black little weird void thing. So ender pearl out, throw it in, and... There we go, took a second there. But here we are at the End Islands. Now this is very annoying, I'm gonna be straight up right now, very annoying to navigate this place. I recommend you bring some blocks or a flying machine, which is kind of ironic, but the point is you have to travel around a bit. You wanna go and find End Islands, or rather like End Strongholds. Technically they're called End Cities, so what you can actually do is use the same command before, the slash locate command, and you can go to end city right there, bada bing, bada boom, and same thing as before, if you don't want to do this, just go find it yourself. But once you're up here, you want to find the floating pirate ship, the amazing purple pirate ship. Because as big as this end city is, the elytra can only be found inside of these ships. And if you go inside here, you navigate down to the bottom, you'll see on the back wall. Look at it. That's it. Hey, go away. This is the elytra right here. This is it. You can break the item frame and get the block and there you go. You have your wings. So go back home or in my case, die because I don't care about this world. Rip. So once you're home, you can equip the elytra by putting it on your back or your chest plate rather and boom, your wings are on. They look beautiful. They're amazing. You're like a moth. Now to activate fly mode, you need to be sprinting and you need to double tap spacebar or whatever your jump button is. In my case on PC, spacebar. So go off a cliff and I'm going to sprint space, space, and boom, I was gliding there for like a second. But to make it easier, let's go up to like a cliff so we can actually like, you know, glide some more. So right here, ready? Sprint, space, space, and boom, look at us, we are gliding, it's perfect. But the issue is it's hard to get elevation again. You can kind of like wiggle up and down and like get a little bit more height, but to make it real simple, let's get some fireworks. So if you take some gunpowder and some paper and put them together on a crafting bench, you get firework rockets. Now what you can do with these is when you are in fly mode, or rather glide mode, I guess they'd call it, you can shoot up a firework, just like press a button, it'll go away and it'll take you up with it. So the fireworks are kind of like boosters. So check it out, ready? Even right here, a little small jump. I go sprint, space, space, firework up, and look, I'm flung in the sky, it's perfect, and I can fire out more, I can go down, look at it, it's amazing. It's just, it's the best, isn't it? It's so great. By the way, do not try and crash land, if you go straight down, Damage is taken. If you want to safely land, you want to have a very nice steady angle, kind of like a plane landing. So slowly kind of twirl around and just softly, I'm in the water so it doesn't really count, but just softly land and you'll be okay. Just for proof to show you I'm not lying, if I do a little soft turn, a little soft, and look at that. No damage lost. Now you might say, 
Farzy, that was great. Thanks for the video. I'll catch you later. Slow down. Slow. Stop it. Okay, one more important thing. Look at the health of this thing. Your elytra takes some damage. So you got to either heal your elytra or lose your elytra. And I'd go with option one, to be honest with you. So bring out the anvil. You recognize these guys? These flying, annoying, blue rat things. Well, these guys are called phantoms, and basically, they drop the ingredient to heal your elytra. It makes sense. They can fly. We want to fly, so let's murder them. Burn. Burn. You hate sunlight. I know you do. Give me your phantom membranes. Drop them. Drop them. Drop them. Drop them. Well, you're supposed to kill them, so I guess I didn't really get any from them just dying on their own, but I can spawn some in, because I'm totally not cheating. So basically, when you kill those phantoms, they'll drop this thing here called a phantom membrane. As I said, this is the ingredient to heal your elytra. So go to your anvil, elytra in, membrane in, and boom, it's going to cost you a level or two or three or whatever, but you heal your elytra. But you also can use enchanted books. Now here are the two most important enchantments for your elytra. One is unbreaking because very simply, it gives you about triple the lifespan of flying. So like any other tool, you throw this thing on, your elytra, or your tool rather, will last for a long, long time. But even more importantly, you want to use mending, because if you are new, mending allows you to heal your tool using XP. So for example, if I put this elytra on my back and throw down some XP and I walk into it, you're going to see my elytra just got magically healed. That's the power of mending. All right, guys, that is how you use, get, and heal elytra not in that order but that's how you do everything that's the elytra guide ow but that is it guys be safe look both ways when you're flying and don't crash because it's painful trust me but on that note make sure to like subscribe do all the good stuff and i'll talk to you guys next time so until then goodbye